So hello everybody, here we are, another meeting of our Nigunim weekly, Nigunim class. We're the week of Parshat Truma, and we're Motsa'e Rosh Chodesh Adar in Israel, but in America, whoever is joining us in America, you still, you still are in Rosh Chodesh. So let's start with a, with a Nigun of Rosh Chodesh. So that was something for Rosh Chodesh to start with. Uh, we can do a few more Rosh Chodesh Nigunim. Uh, let's do what we didn't do in the Hebrew class. Okay, somebody had to leave early. Yevarat uh, Bet Israel. from the Tzemach Tzedek, Yemin Hashem Romema, 
the sons of the Tzemach Tzedek said they used to know where he's holding, according to the song they were singing. And uh, when he was saying Hallel, he probably was singing this one. Uh, there's Odecha Karitani also from the, from the Tzemach Tzedek. That's uh, a nickel of thanksgiving, of saying Hallel, praising Hashem. The two that we just did are for praising Hashem from Hallel. Uh, there's two from the Sfirot, there's two Sfirot that are talking about uh, saying thank you to Hashem. One of them is Hallel and one of them is Hodaya. One is in Chesed and one is Hod. So uh, sometimes when things are clear and you see a revealed miracle, you say Hallel. But when the miracles are not uh, revealed or it's a humbling situation and actually you don't feel like saying any thank you, you, you're broken, you don't know why this happened to you, and, and, uh, but you have to accept it. You have to say, uh, okay, what can I do? I accept it. That's from Hod. So you do say thank you, but you, th you have to say thank you if it's good or if it's the opposite. Uh, there's a song about it in, in uh, the Chabad songs, which is called Tzi Azoi, Tzi Azoi, Zolman Frelach Zayn. We have it twice in Sefer Nigunim. Reish Lamed Gimel, Reish Lamed Dalet, 233 and 234, if I'm not mistaken. Let me just double check. Uh, but I'm going to play it from the book of Rivkin, which is a little different here. Right, 233 and 234 in Stephanie Gunim, two versions, and here also. It's like not exactly clear the way they used to sing it, but the main thing is the words of Tzia Zoi, Tzia Zoi, Freilach Zolman Zayn, or Zolman Freilach Zayn, there's also two ways of saying it, or Darf Zayn, Freilach Darf Zayn, you have to be happy. Um, if you hear in here the melody of, of Nebayus and Nikavo, you're not mistaken, it's, it talks about it, you know, it's some kind of relationship between this nigga and that one. But see as I feel like that man's eye. Zoi, 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 zoi
You have to be happy, like this or like that, you have to be happy. Um, in the Mishkan, that we read about, you know, the tabernacle, that we're told this week, you have to make a temple for me. It doesn't say, I'm going to dwell in it. It says, I'm going to dwell in them, which means us, which means Hashem promised that he's going to, if we make him a place, he's going to dwell in us. <coughs> if we open up, if we want him in, he's going to be in with us. The base for the Mishkan, <coughs> uh, people, people gave uh, donations. They gave Zahav, Kesem, Nechoshesh, gold, silver, and copper, uh, all kinds of things. But they, made, they gave with such good wills from, their own, from themselves. They gave from the silver. Silver in Hebrew is Kesef. Kesef is like Kisufim. It's like yearning. <coughs> so the yearning is the base. How do we know it's the base? Because in Beit HaMikdash, for the, for the walls, for the Krashim, uh, they, they had silver basing. They call it Adanim. Adanim, Eden, is like, uh, in, in a way, it's connected with Hod. And uh, the Adanim are connected with the Modei Ani, that we say in the morning. That's what the Rebbe says in the, in, in the Sicha. The Adanim were holding the, the Krashim so that the walls won't fall. And the Adanim is our humbleness, is the modani that we say in the morning, this thing of hod, of taking on ourselves, it's okay. Whatever you do, I acknowledge you, I bow down, I take him myself you know, to serve you. That's hod, and saying thank you for whatever we have. So the modani is the basis. Now there's a nigan from Kublitsch in this book, <coughs> number 35 in the book of Ritkin, that Avisa Ginsburg said it fits exactly to sing with it the the Modani. What we sang before was also from Hod, according to the styles of the ten Sfirot. So let's do the Modani. fits to sing Modani with it. That's our base in the morning to say thank you, Hashem, whatever you do. Uh, we could do the Dudale from Reb Levitzer Mibedichev also. Anna M. Saeka. Yeah, we have time. I 
I don't repeat myself exactly. Mm. I don't do exactly the same what I did in Hebrew. So whoever stays for two hours gets from both worlds. Um, Rabbi Levitzer and Rabbi Dichav used to sing this doodale. Why doodale? Because he said, if it's here, do. Do is you. You are here and you are there. You are up, you are down. You are Mizrach, Mayarav, Tzafo, Dao, you are everywhere. And if it's you, then it's good. If Khalil Anit, it's also good. And if it's you, then it for sure is good. Um, we know that Kedusha is connected with, with uh, Simcha, with happiness. Whatever is not from Kedusha, the other side is the Etzev. The Klipot are in Etzev. Kedusha is always in Simcha. Like it says, Od v'chedva b'mkomo, gladness and, and happiness in his palace. Um, if it's a side of the Kedusha, it has to be happy. So if it's from you, then I'm happy. Ribbon of the world, Ribbon of the world, I Where will I find you, Ribbon of the Of course it's you. Khalila need also you. And if it's you, then it's good. Oh, do, 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 do. from Rabbi Yitzhak of Bediceh. There's a story about, uh, I think it was Rabbi Yitzhak of I'm just hits, but also some other Hasidic um, masters, when, they were, when he was a little kid, uh, somebody calls him over and says, I'll give you a coin if you tell me where Ribbono Shalom is. And he says, well, I'll give you two if you tell me where he is, where he is not, because he's anywhere that you let him in. That's where Hashem is. So we want to open a heart and let Hashem in. I remember... Um, a saying from the Rebbe of Kotz, his yasha was last week. <coughs> the Rebbe of Kotz said, uh, why does the Pasuk say, Vayu advarim ha'ele asher anuchim etzabcha ayom alev avecha? All these words I'm telling you should be on your heart. Like as if the heart has a shelf, you put all the things on, the, on your heart. That's the, what the Pasuk says, put it on your heart. And the Rebbe of Kotz says, yes, sure. Your heart is locked up, so put it on your heart. Eventually, someday it's going to open up, even a crack, and everything is going to fall in. So put it on your heart, Ben time. So we want to open our heart. We want to, we want to make sure we have a heart ready to receive the simcha and the sim godliness, and we want to build a tabernacle inside of our heart. Um, remember, left the whole I don't remember which uh, group of people used to sing it. If it's Bnei uh, Rabbanim or it's, I don't remember if it's a Pircha or something. Left Ruach 
It's one song about making our heart ready for him. Uh, I don't remember if there's any song in Chabad about talking about the, my heart. Uh, but we have an old, old nigun from a Hasidic master. Uh, let's do this this order this time. Um, the Hasidic from Ul Stalisk, when he passed away, they went to Rabbi Yisrael Merojin, they went to the Rojine, and they brought with them this nigun. And this nigun might be from the, from the Rab Uri Stralisk himself. He probably wrote it without any words. But a, somebody, we don't know at what point, somebody put on it the words from Rabbi Eliezer Azikri that wrote the book Sefer Haredim. A, for years, been looking to find where is it in the book. And finally, this year, Hashem sent me, this is a copy from the book. Uh, probably towards the end, we have some poems there. And uh, Sefer Haredim is the book that he wrote. And he has a poem there. And in this poem he says, I'm going to sing to you with a lot of uh, humbleness and, and breaking my heart and making sure that I know what I'm doing and I want to cleave to you and, and I'm scared to do any sins. A whole long poem on all the other bits, but one of the letters, the letter bit, Inside of my heart, I'm going to build a temple for his glory, Lezivo. Korban akriv lo, and what korban will I give? Korban akriv lo nafshi ayechida. I'm going to give as a korban, as an offering, my only soul. Now, my only soul can refer to something very, very high, like it's talk about in Hasidut. The level of, of the soul that all the time connected with Rebono Shalom, a which we don't usually get any, any connection with, but it's always, always connected, because we are connected with Hashem all the time. Uh, like Rebbe, Alter Rebbe explains in Tanya, in all kinds of ways and chapters, there's so much there about it. But this beautiful nigan, Rabbi David Verdiger, the famous Chazan, and also the famous father for the famous son, which is Rabbi Mordechai ben David. MBD, Mordechai ben David, is the son of Rabbi David Verdiger. Rabbi, Mordech, Rabbi David put the words Bilibi Mishkan Ebne Lezivo Korban Akiba. I don't know exactly how he puts the words on it with this melody. And his son, Rabbi Mordechai Ben David, he put the words Achat Sha'altim Et Hashem. No, there's only one thing I really want is to live in your temple, which they connect, you know, it connects real nice and tells us and gives us a path. You know, we want to wanna bring Hashem into our life. We want to have him in our heart. We want to build a tabernacle for him, a, a temple for him. And how? How are we going to give his soul? So we do it with song. That's for us. Uh,
let's sing it now with the other words, set of words. from Rabbi Uri of Stralisk, an ancient Nigan, or at least from his Hasidim, but from his time. Um, now, these words from Sefer Haredim, from Eliezer Azikri, uh, were put into another song by Rabbi Yitzchak Hutner. Rabbi Yitzchak Hutner was the head of the Lakewood Yeshiva, and he took these words and he made them a little more poetic, you know, for our days, and, and Shmuel Brazil wrote a beautiful melody on them. Um, I included in my CD on Eskirana Giniti Balayla that came out for the Aleph Nisan many years ago. And only after the CD came out, I don't know what I included in the, in the CD, it turned out that Rabbi Yitzchak Hutner was a Chibruta with a Rebbe. They learned together, I don't know what point of their life. And when the Rebbe refused to be a Rebbe, become a Rebbe after Yud Shvat, when the Friedrich Rebbe passed away, they asked Yitzchak Hutner for some advice, how can they convince the Rebbe to become a Rebbe, to become our Rebbe. So here, Nigun from Rabbi Yitzchak Hutner, with the same words, almost, from Eliezer Azikri. Um, I'll read it to you. Bilvavi mishkan evnel hadar kvodo, uva mishkan mizbeach asim lekarne hodo, ulener tamid ekach li et esha akeda, ulekorban akriv lo et nafshi hayechida. I will build a tabernacle in my heart to glorify God's honor. And I will place an altar in a tabernacle dedicated to Hashem's divine rays of splendor. All kinds of, of uh, expressions from, from Hasidut and Kabbalah, yeah? from the rays of splendor. Karnei Hod, we have Hod, we have Adar. We have all kinds of, of the Sfirot and levels of the Neshama. And for the eternal, constant flame, I will take upon myself the fire the fuel, the, the binding of Yitzchak, the Akedah. And as a sacrifice, I will offer God my soul, my unique soul. My unique soul is, is the, the highest point of the Neshama. Mishkan Mizbeach Asit Lekarne Hodo Bilevavi Mishkan Emne Ladar Kevodo Mishkan Mizbeach Asit Lekarne Hodo Lulele Oh, 
I hope you're singing with me, even though your microphone, microphones have to stay closed. Before we go to the fast, happy songs to get us into the mood of Adar and, and to show that we really want to connect Hashem, get away with all sadness, you know, we don't want... There's a story about, about a, I don't remember which Hasidic master, when he was young, he was sitting in the Midrash learning, and suddenly he feels somebody sitting next to him. He looks at the somebody that sat next to him, he turns off, you know, he puts out the candle and runs home. And tells his father, I had a very scary thing in shul, in, in the Beit midrash Somebody came and sat next to me, and, and, and I looked at him, and I blew out the candle, and I went home. So his father said, maybe you blew it. What happened? Maybe it was in the Yawana V, and you just missed. Suddenly so he went to learn with you. He says, no, Dad, no, no, no. It wasn't from the side of Kedusha. This person was so sad. There was no Kedusha with him. Kedusha is happiness. Kedusha is simcha. Uh, so this nigga is not sad. It's from the Boston Rebbe, if I'm not mistaken. That's what I saw in the book of, of, of uh, Pastor Mac about me, all kinds of songs. And it's about the words, Achat Sha'alti Beit Hashem, you know, we, we want to sit in Hashem's palace. We want to bring him into us and we want to be in his palace all the time. Not leaving there all the time. That's what we want. We have a few Yibana Hamikdash that we could sing. Ibanne ibanne ha migda 
Another Liban HaMikdash from Avisa Ginsburg. Since I have it right next to me, I can remind myself how it goes. Okay. <laughs> Whoever follow the song, the song climbs up and then goes back down. It's like or Yashav or Chozer. We should be zocher to see the Mikdash already with us. Um, <clears throat> now we have to do some happy songs. One of the songs I want to do is a nigun from Rabbi Chael Dvorkin. Did I say it correctly? Yes, from Michael Dvorkin. It's Nigun 336 in Sefer Nigunim. Dina, you can look it up. Uh, why did I pick this one up? First of all, it's a Nigun Sameach. We did last year. We might do it again. Just follow the Sefer Nigunim with a lot of happy Nigunim, just to know the happy Chabad Nigunim. <coughs> but why did I choose this one to start with now? Uh, because uh, Michael Dvorkin, he brought it from Eretz Israel. He used to live here. And he went to the Rebbe, I think it was Rebbe Hayat that he went to. And he brought this nigun with him. And they, they really liked it and they sang it a lot in Chabad. And when they, one of the years, I don't remember which year, they wanted the Pasuk on the Rebbe's capital for the birthday. And uh, that's the same year that uh, Ben Sion Sheker wrote a special nigun for the Rebbe. But somehow the Hasidim didn't connect with it so much. So they chose this nigun. Uh, to, to, for the words, and I 
God's closeness is, is what I want. I want God's closest to me. I want, I want to feel close to Hashem. song is probably not Jewish. I don't know how it came to join our, uh, our uh, how do you call it, repertoire of, of happy songs for Purim. But I wanted to do it anyways, because when Adar comes in, we have to add happiness. They say that it's like on Hanukkah, that the first night you light one candle, the second night it's not enough anymore, and you light two, and then you have to light three and four. So in, in Adar, <coughs> um, Whatever we were happy yesterday, we have to be happier today and happier tomorrow. And every day we have to be happy. We have 60 days for Simcha, for happiness and Adar, because we have a Adar Rishon Adar Shani, we have a double, a leap year. And the Rebbe says that uh, because it's 60, there's an expression by Chazal, Batel B'Shishim. If you want to nullify something, you, have to need, you need at least 60 against it, so it gets like a drop of something fell into a pot. If there's 60 more than that, you know. 
60 times more than it's, it's Batel. So Rebbe says, you know, all the sadness, all our worries, all our hardships, everything should be soaked in these 60 days of, of simcha, of happiness, and, and be nullified. Canceled, gone, non-existent anymore. Only simcha. Um, I want to do a happy song. Uh, I played it before. I didn't leave it out so I could find it again. Oh, that wasn't smart of me. A nigan for the Rebbe of Siget. Uh, his yard site was on Monday, so I decided to play one of his nigunim. Now, how come it's a nigun? We said, you know, you take something and turn it around. They say one of the happiest things in the, in the, when Mashiach comes is um, when, when you can take something and turn it over, turn it around, like uh, when you take darkness and you light it, it's the biggest happiness. When you take a, something unexpected and turn it over, so <clears throat> sometimes the Gunim were megayered, were, were taken by the mast, Hasidic masters and brought into Kedusha. This is one of them. They, it's, <clears throat> I'm talking about the Rebbe of Siget, the Bali um, Kedushat Yom Tov of Siget. He was the um, father of the Rebbe of Satma. So he's from Romania. And he went, well, went for a walk, maybe Shabbos, Shabbos night or whenever it was. And he heard from a tavern, he heard this happy tune. And he listens and says, that doesn't belong to them. That should, has to belong to Kedusha. It has to belong to us. So he took away that song and, and he asked his shamash, you know, his, his secretary to please remember it and remind me of it. And he put the words to it, Chay Hashem Baruch Tzuri. And sometimes Azamal Sadar Misudata Betzafat de Shabbat also was put on it. Whatever, but I made a piano arrangement. I'll play it the way I wrote it for the piano. It's cute. Chay Hashem Uvaruch Tzuri, a nigun from the Sigat. If you remind me, I'll send you a recording in the group of Ben Zion Shekel singing it so nicely, or of Yitzhak Ginsburg also singing it for Chay Hashem Uvaruch Tzuri. Okay, so we still have a little time left, and I don't know if there was something I wanted to do and I forgot, but let's do, <coughs> let's do one of the songs that say, you know, is the Chabad song for the whole of Adar, ויהי בימי אחשורוש, הוא אחשורוש, המולך מהוד ובת כוש, שבע ועשרים ומאה מדינה. וואו, wow, these words are so poetic. At the times of אחשורוש, yes, אחשורוש was the king. He, he was the ruling 127 countries from הוד ובת כוש. What's there to sing about it? And the Hasidim sing it very merrily and over and over and over again, and dancing and dancing every day after the evening. What's so happy about this melody? So they explain in Hasidut that in the Megillat Esther, Hashem's name is not mentioned even once. Not mentioned in Megillah. Everything is hidden. Hashem is hiding inside of Megillah, like he's hiding in this world. That's what we did before, no? That's a Bilbabi Mishkan Abne. We can do something about Megdash, but I don't know. If you know the song, you can sing it for us, we can join you. I don't know which one you're talking about. I'll be happy to learn. 
Um, so, um, <clears throat> so any time that a, the, a king is mentioned in the, in the Megillah, it's referring to Hashem, not only, not only to the king there. So Achashverosh actually is symbolizing the real king. The king is Hashem. And he's called Achashverosh. Achivarosh is the beginning and is the end. He's the beginning of everything, he's the end of everything. That really is Hashem. And he's, he's ruling all the mass of Hashem. We did not, like Esther was ruling, you know, Esther was ruling it because she was descendant of Sarah that was, was living seven and twenty and a hundred years. So Hashem is ruling this world and we have to be happy and let's sing. So we're not going to sing it long, but let's go to over to Ibn Amidash. Any songs you want to ask for? Somebody ask for something about building the Mikdash? I don't know. So we did, we did which is for the Parsha. I don't know a song about the but we had a song about building the tabernacle, building the temple inside our heart. We did a few songs of that. Anything you want to ask for? Or are we going to say goodbye till next year? Next week. Not next year. Bakashot. Besimcha. Shabbat shalom v'chodesh tov. Amen, Ora. Bye, kol tov. Okay. Thank you. 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 Thank you.